What the heck is that? You could either take the blue pill and make this all go away, or you can take the red pill and... What do you... Uh, Did you just take both of those? Uh, I don't know what's gonna happen. Nobody's ever done that before. <laughs> Get off, get off, get off! So last week I started printing this crazy model that has almost 500 pieces and we're gonna assemble it and I'll show you the paints I went through. And of course, this was exclusively printed on the brand new Prusa Core 1 that I received from Prusa that I actually just customized and I should have some content about in the future. This is actually one of the most intense builds that I've ever taken on and we're gonna just go over a few of the pieces and get right to assembling. These parts all print in place and then they can actually break apart and then actually articulate. And nobody wants a limp tentacle, so this designer actually made a hole that goes through the entire length of this that you can use some jeweler's wire to actually stiffen up. I've temporarily put this into place and you can see it's a lot more stiff. And now by far the most difficult part of this print is these little tiny red rings, which I printed another set of just so I could show you. And I had to print 396 of these, which I had to bend slightly, stick onto the actual tentacle and try to push them on without actually damaging them. The suggested time for putting all 396 of these rings onto the tentacles was 90 minutes. It took me multiple days. And if you've been here for a while, it gave me flashbacks to the ghost. If you know, you know. This model has a lot of unique pieces. This is print in place and this model actually has these breakaway supports that are pre-installed on the actual print that just kind of snap off. Then you can Go like this and then this piece of the support comes out which actually makes it articulate and I think it's a really kind of crazy design. I love it. And then we have the actual claws and the connector pieces. These claws print in place as well and it's also very unique because it's something I've never seen before. So just like the last print there's some pre-supported parts that actually just break away. They free up and then you can open them up. Crazy. I, this is some wizardry I've never seen before. Now we need to take this wire, put it down the center of the actual tentacle till it comes out the end. I've been kind of bending it off and trimming off the excess. Now we can take the claw, put it over that little piece of wire and snap fit it back into place. Now we have this connector piece that does the same on the opposing side. With the screw part on the end and this claw, we now have a completed tentacle. I've also gone ahead and added all of those little rings in between the links. And now we have a bouquet of tentacles that are complete. This is the main portion of the actual print, which turned out actually pretty insane. We have to screw those tentacles into the bottom. We have to add all the claws and like arms, and then we need to add the actual eyes. So pro tip, if you are doing this model, definitely make sure you're putting these parts on first. It'll make it a lot easier to actually screw into place. Now that those are all installed, we can now take the actual tentacles, make sure to thread the little piece of wire into place and clip them in. This is looking crazy. Now I'm not sure how this printed, but look how tiny this printer was able to print these eyes. Okay, you gotta be very careful here. Oh, this is gonna be hard. Okay, now we need to put the legs on this. I really hope I'm doing this right. Okay. All right. Now we put the claws, which should just snap in from what I've seen. And maybe snap. Come on, don't break. Ugh. Of course, this is gonna be the hardest part. There's like nothing to grip onto. Okay, I got one in. I got one in. Three are broken. Got another one in. All right, I'm gonna come back when this is done. All right, after reprinting a couple of the components, it is all done and this is by far one of the coolest things I've ever printed. As I said before, this thing fully articulates and this thing is insane. The details on this model just blow my mind. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below and if you wanna see awesome prints like this, definitely make sure you're following.